Welcome to the Soul to Star booth here at SMT AI. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by the Managing Director, Mark Stansfield. Hi. Nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you, of course. Now, Mark, uh, you, you were showing us your systems uh, back at, back at uh, Apex and before that at Productronica, but there's been a few uh, updates since then. Can you maybe uh, fill us in as to where, you, where we're at? Well, yeah, back at Productronica, we obviously introduced uh, the SmartLine system, which was our latest evolution on our real-time monitoring uh, platforms. Um, since then, obviously, we've been introducing that to customers, and we've been working you know, really hard on the development side, mm -hmm. trying to solve the different deployment methods that these, these guys are looking into. Um, we've been working on some interesting projects in Germany where we produce basically smart sensors uh, that we're sending data to their factory mm -hmm. management software and they're, they're doing all the big data side of uh, the industry 4.0 concept. Right. It's uh, quite interesting. Uh, beyond that, we've got um, our own collection system which allows you know, medium-sized manufacturers to very quickly deploy our um, SolarStar APS system and get, get real powerful information and traceability uh, type. Uh, profiles from, from every board that passes through the line. And the final thing we're working on at the moment is um, aimed at maybe the smaller manufacturers mm -hmm. so that this, this technology is accessible to them as well. So we're looking at moving the same software into the cloud on virtual servers. Uh, we have a small number of um, customers all using the same, same hardware, no support issues, all totally secure and, and insular um, between each data set. But yeah, it's, just, it's really nice, uh, really nice system. Okay. So let, let's go back first of all, I mean, the, the, the data that these companies are pulling off, I mean, uh, are, are, they, are they using a lot of that data yet, or are they just uh, pulling it off and analyzing it? Well, there's, there's two types, of, of, of two trends of thought, really. You know, the, the purest industry 4.0 mm -hmm. scenario is, is, is we just measure everything that we can. Mm -hmm. Let's get it into the servers, and then we'll do some analysis um, to see what whether that's actually useful to us, you know, um, where it's actionable data. And, and that, that's what the big guys are doing at the moment. They're, they're looking up, quickly measuring as much as they can, and then they'll decide if that's useful to them in the, in the real production environments. And that's when the predictive algorithms and things like that can, can start to uh, be developed right. to allow them to, you know, better predict maintenance scheduling, things like that. Maybe that you can see a machine's going to have a problem maybe in a few days. Mm -hmm. um, it's currently not an issue, but you know they can move production and, and onto another line, for example, to um, you know to, to just keep that throughput level up. Right, right, right. I think there's going to be a lot of different uh, uh, things you can pull off these machines uh, in, in time. You know, but um, no, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, so uh, let's talk about uh, the selective soldering side because you're you're very well known for that. Yeah. Um, uh, you've got uh, one of the best systems out there for selective. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that works. Well, yeah, it's, um, you see, see the systems over here. We have, we have two main product lines, um, one totally dedicated for the, the mini-wave selective style machine, mm -hmm. where we have the X and Y robot or moving uh, nozzle system. And, and that, that's really an evolution um, using the same technology we used on the conventional wave solder systems that we introduced mm -hmm. almost 12 years ago, um, which are you know, re really popular. And that, that uses the same measurement technology. And what, what we're seeing in our customer base there's a lot of people interested in moving to selective solder as a process. And they had no tools to, to do any of the daily checking, produce quality control information. Right. These guys you know, had SPC in place for reflow and wave solder, but, but nothing for the selective. So that, that's why we developed those products, working with those customers. Mm -hmm. um, the second style of system we, we have, which I was showing you before, is what we call a, a multi-wave selective machine. So that, that's where the customer has dedicated tooling and they solder the board in one or two dips. Right. So what we've done now is we've actually made a really nice measurement um, instrument that the R&D guys can take, make their own pallets, mm -hmm. uh, we supply them contacts and looms, they can very quickly you know, do some R&D, make sure the board is contacting the nozzles, nozzles all at the same time. Because right. um, they're all different shapes and sizes depending on the tooling design and the, the assembly they're soldering and it, you know you do see differences between um, the contacts um, times between the PCB and, and solder waves, so it's it's really allowed them to analyze what's going on there. You know, you can't see what's going on. You know, it's um, really opened up, you know, some interesting uh, data for them. 
there's a number of different areas, of course, of concern in selective soldering systems, you know, uh, not least of which is, is the nozzle clogging and that type of thing. Uh, how do you help that? Yeah, that's true. One, one, one of the other big problems is crystallisation in, in the nozzle. Um, what happens there is, of course, you're not fluxing where you, mm -hmm. where you think the flux is going, which is twofold the problem. One is, obviously, the soldering quality is, is likely not to be uh, as good as it could be. The bigger, wider problem is, of course, you have unactivated flux under components that mm -hmm. shouldn't have the flux on. So th that's going into automotive electronics, for example, and into Saudi Arabia or some right. real high temperature environments, then problems start to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so what we came up with, with, with um, is, an, is an addition to the selective uh, pallets that we make. And, and that's basically four um, flux sensors. Mm -hmm. And basically the, the customer programs the machine to deposit a very small amount, a one millimeter dot of, of flux. And that allows us to detect uh, if any alignment issues are in place or if there is crystallization, then of course we'll, we'll be able to detect that. Well, you keep uh, continuing to innovate, uh, Mark. It's always good to see mm -hmm. what's happening here at Solar Star. And uh, I want to thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you.